This video explains how to calculate the mean by a group using the R programming language. So without too much talk, let's dive into the R code. In this video, I will show you two examples and both of these examples are based on the data frame that we can load with line two of the code. So in this line of code, we are using the data function to import the iris data frame. So if you run this line of code, you can see at the top right of RStudio that the iris data frame is appearing. And we can have a look at the first six rows of this data frame by running line three of the code. And then you can see at the bottom in the RStudio console that our data frame contains five columns and the column species is dividing our data set into three different groups. So let's assume that we want to calculate the mean value of the column sepal length based on the groups that are identified by the column species. Then we can apply the aggregate function as you can see in lines five to seven of the code. So in these lines of code, I'm specifying the x argument to be equal to the name of the column for which we want to calculate the mean. Then I'm using the by argument to specify the column in which our groups are contained. And then I'm also specifying the fun argument to be equal to the mean function. So if you run lines five to seven of the code, you can see at the bottom in the RStudio console that another output is returned. And this output shows the mean value by group. So for instance, the mean of the group Setosa is 5.006 and the mean of the other two groups are shown below. So in this first example, I have explained how to use the aggregate function of the basic installation of the R programming language to calculate the mean by group. However, it's also possible to use the functions of the dplyr package. And for this example, we first need to install and load the dplyr package, as you can see in lines nine and 10 of the code. I have installed the package already. So for that reason, I'm just going to load it with line 10 of the code. And after running this line of code, we are able to use the functions of the dplyr package, such as group by and summarize at. So in lines 12 to 14 of the code, I'm using these functions to calculate the mean by group based on the dplyr package. So if you run these lines of code, you can see that a tibble is returned at the bottom. And this tibble shows exactly the same values as our previous output. However, this time we have used dplyr instead of base R. That's all I wanted to explain in this video. In case you want to learn more on this topic, you may check out my homepage statisticsglobe.com because on my homepage, I have recently published a tutorial in which I'm explaining the content of this video in some more detail. I will put a link to this tutorial into the description of the video so you can find it there. If you have liked this video or if you have any questions, let me know in the comments section below. I'll try to respond to all comments as soon as I can. Furthermore, make sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel to get notified about future video releases. I have already published about 500 videos on this channel and I'm releasing new videos on a daily basis. Thanks a lot for watching. See you in the next video.